Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something I'm so excited about. Um, I did a little shopping at Spirit Halloween. So this is my first official haul video. Um, a Spirit Halloween haul video. So I went to Spirit Halloween and I grabbed some random stuff. And then I grabbed specific things. So this video will come in two parts in the same video, but it'll be like two different types. So the first one is going to be just like random things that I saw, thought were cool. Are they worth the price that I paid for them? Um, and then the second one is going to be Harley Quinn Birds of Prey items that I got. Um, I have a plan to do a cosplay of her. Obviously, I have done a lot of Harley Quinn cosplay stuff. So um, uh, the second part of that video is going to be like opening up packages of things that I bought and stuff like that. And is all of that stuff worth the price that we're paying? Spirit Halloween stuff is not cheap. So we want to know if the price of all of these items is worth the price. Is is it like really good quality and you know I would pay more for it if it asked? Or is it really crappy quality? Did I just pay $50 for something that's going to break in two days? We're about to find out. So we're going to start off with just the random things that I grabbed. So um, most of them are still going to be in their packages. Some of them will not be. For instance, this mask, we're going to start with the smallest item. This mask, rose gold, beautiful, frames to your face nicely. I kind of like it. Now I believe that masks range from 10 to 15. I don't have a reason for this. It was actually a gift from my mom. Um, when we went, or I actually got all most of this stuff today. So, um, but we got, she, I buy this every time we go and she finally was like, all right, we're just going to get it for you. I like it. The metal framing is pretty strong and sturdy, but also flexible enough that if it fits your face weirdly, you could probably mold it a little bit better, but probably don't do that too much. You could really affect it. Next, a Harry Potter wand, still in the package. So we're just going to open that up really quick. Um, uh, I plan to do a Luna Lovegood cosplay and I saw it and I was like, okay, I definitely have to get this. Sturdy packaging. <laughs> some of the packaging doesn't matter, some of it does. I guess we'll find out which ones really do matter. Alright. So this is Luna Lovegood's wand. And I'm not happy. I gotta say. It's super, it's hollow, so if it's light, but I feel like if you accidentally stepped on it, it would break pretty quickly. I, I feel like I would need to um, put a hole inside of inside of it so that I could fill it with something harder or heavier so that it's not so like flimsy. You know, you can see that it bends pretty easily. I feel like normal ones in the movies don't do that. So um, It'll be good for like a spirit Halloween costume if you wanted to do like a quick cosplay of costume of um, Luna Lovegood, but for a um, a continuous cosplay, I might have to change it or do something to make it a little bit more sturdy. Um, how much was this? Let's find out. Ugh. The wand. Ooh, I need to remember. This wand was ten dollars. I would say it was worth ten dollars if it was any bit. If it was any like more money, I probably would be like not worth it. Okay. Um. Next, these I saw and just could not stay away from. They're in the hippie section and they've just got flowers all over the end, the rims. I am so obsessed with these because I thought they were so cool. So we're gonna open them. I didn't try them on because of COVID. These were $10. I just feel like these would be very good for the days that I want to feel very flower child. They're cool. They're, I feel like they're a little, maybe a little uneven. Um, I can still see the edging of the flowers you can see, but I feel like they're very good. They are like good quality, high quality sunglasses. Um, next I got a Ravenclaw tie, obviously going to do that for Harry Potter. This is, it's a $16 on it and it does feel like good quality. I mean, it feels like any normal tie. So I guess, you know, that one's pretty good. Um, here we go. 
This I believe is new to this year. These are spell book bags. I am kind of obsessed with this. Let's grab a pair of scissors and pop this sucker open. I don't know where my scissors might be. Oh, they're in the scissors box thing. Duh. Okay, so we're just gonna cut this off. Now the spell book purses were $20. So let's open it up and see what it's about. This is my first time opening it. I'm pretty intrigued. I saw it and I was like, a spell book purse? How could anybody not want this? So it comes attached, the belt, the latch, latch thingy comes attached like this and then you just have to cut it out and then take the thingy out. So the purse handles come in and then the handles are wrapped in this thing. Oh, that's long. All right. And then they attach out here, right here. They have little, little attachment thingies. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly, they don't have like the open thing, are they supposed to? It does not look like it. So, it's just supposed to, in, I guess. Oh, okay, there we go. That's a little confusing, but all right, all right. It's a nice sized purse. It's kind of like small but large at the same time. Like, a, I guess medium is the word for that. Okay, here we go. All right, it's long. I could wear it crossbody, which I love doing. Crossbody bags are really nice. It's a good size, not like super small. And the zipper works really well. This is all user problem. There we go. Thick, like a book. Very good quality. I like it. I think this was one of the best purchases that I made. Okay, next <laughs> I saw this and I could not for the life of me give this up. This was $17 and it's a reversible sequin hat. I saw it and I was like, who doesn't want this in their life? I mean, honestly, if you say that you don't want it, you're lying. So it's just a sequin hat. They had it in black too, but I feel like this one matched my personality better. <sighs> I mean, my hair too. And my face mask that I have is sequin. Very, so cute. It's a little big. My head is very small, but I think it's so fun. Oh my goodness. I will be playing with this forever. Okay, now the last piece to this is so exciting. I'm definitely gonna need my scissors, but this is part of the new part of their store, the Dungeons and Dragons section, and that would be the Heart Seeker Bow and Arrows. Let's get a little close up of this. Still in the package, so we're gonna quickly cut it out and see what it looks like and how it does. This was $35. It better be worth it. Let's start with the smallest section. So this comes with a strap that I think that means it wraps like this. But I feel like it's like a little droopy. It is adjustable. So at the bottom is a little adjusting, adjustable thing. So that's good. It's like strong. It's plastic, obviously, but it's kind of sturdy and strong. And the um, piece feels like it's not gonna tear. It's not gonna rip very easily. Okay, so we'll move on to the arrows. These are what the arrows look like. They're silver gray colored. You can see that like they're a little like wonky in a way. I don't know if they're supposed to be wonky. This one looks straight and the rest of them just look a little bent. A little bent out of shape. This is what the bottom of them looks like. They're obviously not shootable, but they look like they could be. They're strong, but flimsy, you know, not like, not real arrow, obviously. They can't sell that. 
but it's strong. It's sturdy as heck. Next, the arrow itself. This is obviously just like a plastic string. You can't really like draw back in reality. The colors are so cool though. These green and purple and gold accents are so beautiful. Like, wow. I got this the other day and I'm so, I'm actually kind of excited about it. I was thinking of doing like a cool Elfo C, so I think this would be like a really good thing to just have. So time for the real reason why you guys are all watching this video, and that's for the Harley Quinn items. Now, the Harley Quinn stuff is expensive as heck. Like, oh my god, some of these pricings blew me away. Now, Birds of Prey is still relatively new, so it completely makes sense that these things are expensive. Um, are they worth the quality? Let's find out. So we're gonna start off with the pink sports bra. Iconic. This was $13. It's a weird clip, so it it's not like a regular bra clip. And I am having problems already getting it back to. There we go. So it comes out like this and then it matches up there. So I had to get a size large because the size medium was not going to be big enough. Ooh, it is soft. There, It is velvet soft. Um, it's got the pads on the inside. I'm not sure that the pads are going to be any use because they are moving around constantly, but they have, but they're in there, obviously. I think that for the $13 it was, it wasn't, a, it's like relatively good quality. I think it's not terrible. I haven't actually worn it, but it kind of comes up in the back like a normal sort of sports bra, like a velvet sports bra. I would let, I say yes to that. I think that's good. Okay, next we have these suspenders. These were $17. You can get the suspenders and the shorts, but I decided that I wanted to kind of in, in, incorporate like a project to this. So I purchased a pair of shorts off of Poshmark um, and there will be a video on that in the future. So, like I said, these are $17. Oof. Already not loving it. Not going to lie. This looks super cheap. And it feels super cheap, but the elastic is, is good. And then the clips. The clips are are relatively relatively good. Um and then it's got this one clip for the back part, which I don't know how to open. Oh, there we go. And then it clips closed when it's attached to your shorts. And then these come up your back and then th over your shoulders like this. And I th think that they're, they are adjustable, it looks like. Well, that's good because I don't know if these are gonna be long enough. I guess we'll find out when I uh, really get started. But yeah, it's gonna need to stretch quite a bit. I think for $17, it's a little expensive. Um, there is some plastic ribbing down. So it's ribbon, I believe. Um, but you can kind of like, I don't know, you can kind of see that it's not like complete ribbon if that makes any sense uh the next item is the harley quinn illusion tights now if you're like me and you can't do art on your legs for the life of you um the tights will be kind of good these were 15 dollars 15 dollars okay so the first thing that comes up is this Uh, and then this is what the other side looks like, kind of sticking. So I will say that it seems kind of like um, they'll quickly have problems. Um, See, these I got in medium large because I am 
a little thick side so I definitely don't want to lose I don't want any runs I think the biggest thing about like tights is the possibility of runs so I mean they feel like regular tights so and then they just go all the way down and then they have the thing on it for DC Comics so they're not terrible I feel like I feel like the black when it's stretched yeah you can kind of see the black that when it's stretched it like fades a little so I guess my biggest worry is gonna be that but you know I really I wish that it was a little bit more on like the $10 side or the $12 side but not everything is gonna be there so I guess that's fine the next one is the t-shirt this is $12 I got a size medium $12 20, $22. $22 for a t-shirt, let me just say. It just says Harley Quinn all over it. It's white, crappie, um, good quality. I mean, it's a t-shirt with Harley Quinn written all over it, but for $22, that seems a little expensive. But like I said, like all of the Birds of Prey stuff is gonna be a little bit more on the expensive side since it's still so new. Um, for $22, I don't think it's worth it, but you can also, um, if you have the ability to, I could have in fact made this shirt myself, but wanted to see if the quality was worth it. Um, I guess it's as worth it as it's going to get. So, I mean, we'll see. Um, I probably should have rated some of this stuff by like 10. I would say for the Harley Quinn stuff, the suspenders, I would rate a five. The tights, I would rate a seven. And the t-shirt, I would rate a 10 out of 10 if it weren't for the price. Um, because of the price, I'll probably rate it like a 7. That's an expensive price to pay. Okay, next is a Harley Quinn wig. Now, I only got this because I'm not going to cut my hair for this cosplay. And I want to do this, um, do this cosplay without um, having to cut my hair. So I'm going to cut and style this one. Cut Die, cut die and style this specific wig now spare Halloween wigs are not amazing let's just start off there this is the front of the wig it smells weird but you know and the back of it I feel like may not reach the bottom of my head which I guess isn't a huge deal because I'm already blonde but the curls seem to be pretty intact, so I guess that's good. How much do I pay for this? This wig was $20. I feel like all the wigs are $20, though. So, it's not terrible. Um, and I think it'll look good once it's styled. I saved the last item is the biggest item, the most expensive item. And, oh my gosh, I hope that I don't regret this. So I'm just gonna pull this over here because that's important. The jacket. some words about this Spirit Halloween Birds of Prey jacket. Now, there is one in Hot Topic, and the one in Hot Topic is all plastic raincoat, um, but the sleeves in here are not. So the sleeves in here are soft mesh, which I like. I feel like the uh, 
the plastic all around would be way more difficult to deal with. So you can see it here as well, the plastic mat, the um, soft meshing. The uh, plastic is thin, which I think uh, will probably help keep me from getting too hot. Um, but I also think that it's going to need to get like wiped down like pretty, pretty fast. So I got it in size medium. This was $60. Um, and it sheds. Now, these are plastic pieces that I have been able to find and save. Um, there's one on the ground right there that I'll pick up later, but... The, the mesh doesn't hold the whole thing very well. So sometimes if you're a little too rough with it, um, it can in fact end up looking not so good. Um, I relatively like it, but for $60 and these pieces constantly coming off, I mean, is that really worth it? I mean, um, I'm gonna have to stitch that up back together um, and I'm gonna have to really wipe down the inside uh, the biggest thing is going to be like heat fogging, you know, is the jacket going to fog? I'm not sure. For $60, I'm a little skeptical. Um, if it was maybe $50, I probably would be less skeptical because of the shedding. And I get, like I said, for it's a price, stuff is going to be super expensive. Um, but I wish it wasn't $60. It's kind of an expensive price. Um, so... You know, all together, I feel like I spent almost $200, maybe more. I'll calculate it and have it in the bio, um, the description bio. <laughs> um, but I guess the jacket was the most expensive thing, um, and this bow and arrow thing, probably the second most expensive thing. I'm not sure how much that one cost again. Yeah, so the jacket and then the heart seeker are the two most expensive items sitting at 60 and 35 so is the jacket worth $60 no I would probably rate that jacket a 7 because of the mesh inside the sleeve makes it more comfortable to wear but the shedding is a little crazy I mean this isn't even all of it some of it I was unable to save so you know I do have to worry about that am I gonna have to get new of the things because now they're coming off Am I going to have to worry about the whole thing coming off? You know, it's it's an interesting situation. So I would say that if I rate the Harley Quinn Birds of Prey jacket a seven out of 10, a good one, but was it really worth $60? So that's where I stand. Um, the next project will be Harley Quinn Birds of Prey. Um, I will be making her shorts, styling um, the wig, and I think that's really it. Um, there wasn't much to do since I purchased most of it, but um, like then after that, I will probably be doing Luna Lovegood. That depends. Um, Birds of Prey is being chosen because um, I have most of that. All right, well, I hope that you guys found this video to be a little informative. Spirit Halloween costume, worth it or not? I can't tell you that. I really, really can't. Um, I think that some of the pricing is a little expensive for the quality, but that's what happens. I mean, Spirit Halloween doesn't have cosplayers coming in and expecting them to purchase their items. Really, Spirit Halloween is more for um, one-time use. So... That's why their quality is usually so low and people are always willing to pay the higher prices for costumes because of Halloween. So, but it is 2020, Rona has hit. Who knows if Halloween will be even happening. I think it's canceled, but that's just my personal opinion. So, um, I hope that you guys found this video to be informative. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm hoping to do more haul videos using Wish, um, AliExpress, and then other cosplay sites uh, specific to cosplay. Um, I did create a new blog, um, journey-cosplay.com. That will be in my description. Um, if you're not following my social media, my Instagram and my Patreon, um, please go follow or subscribe to my Patreon. Be a new patron of mine. I would so adore it. There's so many good things that can be included. Um, I do have up and coming projects, so I'm so excited about them. 
Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next week.